In this video, we're going to take a look at our volume options again. Uh, I'm just on a particular one. So in this one, we're going to take a look at the subgrade, substrata, cut, fill, unsuitable, and custom. So for example, that we're in, we're in our XYZ standards .dg and Lime that we're building. We're going to go into the existing folder and take a look at the TC Rock. And we'll notice that that has a volume option for substrata. When we set the volume option to substrata, it's going to give us a cut factor. And what the cut factor does or is, it's applied to the cut volume. This parameter, also known as expansion factor defines how much the volume of the material will increase after it is removed from the ground. Example, a volume of 1.3 means that the cut material will swell to 1.3 times its original volume. And by default, the value is set to 1, which does not adjust. So that can be changed depending on the agency. We have a feature symbology that we want to assign when we have our substrata to replace feature symbology and that's going to point to a volumes rock excavated so we can see that differently and that's what our symbologies do it displays helps display in our different models in 3d and you also have a include cut mass ordinate parameter that can be set to true or false if you want to include that substrata into the mass ordinate or mass hall diagram. If we take a look at our TC sandstone that has the same substrata, so that's the substrata volume option. And the definition for a substrata is the volume option is for geotechnical terrain model or meshes. And the cut fill volumes tool will take this into account when toggled on it separates cut meshes into two distinct meshes so a volume can be formulated for the substrata and normal cut so one can get distinct volumes for each and next up is our cut and fill and those can be found in our volumes folder we have a volume for cut and a volume or a feature definition for volumes cut and a feature definition for volumes fill. So let's take a look at our volumes cut. So the volume option is set to cut. Again, it has a cut factor that defaults to one. The cut factor is applied to the cut volume. This parameter also known as expansion factor defines how much the volume of the material will increase after it is removed from the ground. The example 1.3, it will or if it's a 1.3 means that the cut material will swell to 1.3 times its original volume. By default, our cut factor is always set to 1. And our definition is for cut, its volume option is for resultant cut mesh created for the cut fill volumes tool. So if we have a cut, that's going to create our cut and fill volumes. And all the volume options will be set for earthwork quantities. If we take a look at our fill, that fill volume option is set to fill. It has a fill factor set in. And for fill, the definition volume option is for resultant fill mesh created from the cut fill volumes tool. And the fill factor is a parameter also known as compaction factor. It defines how much the volume of a fill material will decrease after it is placed into the site. Example of 0.8 means that the fill material will shrink to 0.8 times its original volume. And by default, we set this to 1, which that will not adjust, just like we do on our cut. Next up, we're going to take a look at our unsuitable. And we'll start in our existing folder and go to our TC underbar unsuitable material for this example. And the definition for our unsuitable volume option is 
So this volume option is for items like muck, swamp, or existing pavement that is needed to be removed. The cut fill volume tool has a toggle to include this. This will, in essence, modify existing ground by taking the unsuitable material out. But material it can be broken into two meshes, remove only or, and remove in place. One cannot build a road on a void. So when we set our volume option to unsuitable, again, we have a cut factor. So that's going to be our swell factor. You also have the option to split. And that is either a toggle true or false. If we set to false, then that mesh is complete and done. We don't have to do anything else to it. But if we set to true, we notice that we have two more symbologies, one for remove and replace feature symbology, and one for just replace feature only. So these are for what we're taking out and replacing, or just taking out, and we would set those to a feature symbology. There is also, if we go to a, just example down here, and let's go to our custom a custom is is just that we can set different cut factors fill factors we can split it uh, we have different options for our remove and replace for feature symbology or just remove only we can include those in our mass ordinate by checking these onto true include we can put include the cut in the mass ornament or fill in the mass ornament and we have a custom display that we can set to both or remove only to display it the final option is the subgrade and subgrade if that volume option is selected is from the old inroads realm this was done back in the day for as built surveys the logic is still there for a terrain model to terrain model here, but this item is not needed in the open roads designer generally, but can be handy for old data. So if you have any old data that you had for inroads, you would set that to a subgrade. So those are our different volume options.